And welcome back. The state gymnastics meets are being held today and tomorrow at the Swiftel Center in Brookings. And today was the team competition. We start with the double A, where the Mitchell Colonels were defending champions. But Maya Morris of Watertown is defending champion. Uh, she might have something to say about that. This is the floor exercise. Brookings Rachel Gannon, who was the uh, champ in that event last year, had a strong showing, a 9.35. Her team finished third. Mitchell's Mariah Crawl was second overall last year. There she is on the bars. Her team gets second today. That's because Maya Morris had a day. First on the beam, almost flawless, a score of 9.625. Then she somehow tops that on the vault. Watch this. Afterwards, she and her teammates see that she gets a final tally of 9.875, and they're pretty fired up about that. She was the top scorer in every event. Watertown takes the title. And afterwards, she talked about how much she enjoys the team title, even more than winning the all-around. Definitely the team, because all-around, it's just about me, and I would rather have like a title with the whole entire team. This was the icing on the cake for all year. You know, we've really kind of been up and down a little bit, but these girls, they came in with the attitude. They came within with everything. Yes, they did. And look at the score here. That 147.225 is quite a team score. Uh, Mitchell finishing second. That number might have won most years. And then Brookings, Pier, and O'Gorman, the individual title is tomorrow. Duel came in as the defending champ in Class A with Morgan Kwasniewski leading the way. She won four events last year. Uh, and how would she do today? Here's a look at some of the highlights for you. That's Esteline Hendricks, Sophie Johnson. She was fourth all around, and her team finished third. West Central Montrose's Avery Schmeichel nailing the floor routine with a score of 9.35, her team finishing sixth. Everybody, though, chasing duel. Defending all-around champ Kwasniewski wins the vault with a score of 9.35. She's going to have plenty of competition tomorrow from her own teammates, though. Paige Simon wins the beam with a 9.375. She was top overall performer today, followed by Rachel Blue and Kwasniewski. As duel repeats as state champ, and afterwards Morgan talked about how deep and how talented her team is. Honestly, it's so fun. Like, you just know that your teammates are right there with you. And like, even if you don't win it, your team has it. And that's kind of all you could really ask for, I think. I would agree with that. And winning a team title is pretty cool. Again, and they win by 11 points. That's called dominating. What a start for Clark native Kim Kaufman in the LPGA's first event in 2019. They are playing along with the European Men's Tour at the Vic Open in Melbourne, Australia. It's a very unique format. And Kim, who had uh, to earn her tour card in Q School, was on fire both rounds. She shot 66 in the first round and birdied the final two holes yesterday for another 66 and a 36-hole score of 13 under par. And playing in this format made it even more fun for Kim, especially because it was her first time that she'd played in this event. It is. Um, you know, last year's when I kind of heard about it, and I was a really big proponent for it, and I've been pretty outspoken about coming down here. Um, and it's lived up to every expectation, which has been great. It's, it's really fun to have, you know, I followed, I think, Mateo Menacero and, you know, guys behind us, and I think it's really cool, and I'm just urging everyone to come play. How cool is that graphic at the bottom? She's leading after two rounds. Just getting ready to tee off. She leads by two as they start round number three. I'm not sure what time it is over there, but she tees off at 1.40 in Melbourne. We'll be right back. 